Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is my final overall review of Fire Emblem Engage. I did want to record this earlier on, but I am having so much fun with the game right now. So I was talking about my third playthrough of the game right now. So yeah, sorry about that. I couldn't really record anything, but yeah, it's, it's a game I've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. I've known about this game for over a year before it was before it was even announced. So yeah, once again, here's my overall review of the game. And like, if anything goes to show you how much I've been playing it, I love it. I really do. There's there are many issues with the game that I personally have, but it doesn't overall stop how much fun I actually have while playing the game. A um, little bit before we go into the review, though. I did have a copy of the game beforehand through the leakers that leaked the entirety of the game through ROMs. I did not play it. I stand by that statement. I do not play that. I do not like people who release the game, let alone stream the game before its official release. So once again, that is a major disclaimer I have to put out there. I knew about the game be being done through, through insider knowledge, but I refuse to actually play the game before anyone else can get their hands on it. Because I feel like that is a major, major, major no-no. But, okay, with that said, let's go into it. Let's go with from the bottom up, music design. I have no issues with the music design. Love it. Bringing back a lot of the classics through your the Amiibos. It might be a controversial take and all that, but um, I still like all the music in the game. It's There's no real highs or lows in my opinion. There's nothing that really beats some of those classics. Um, the opening song, what's going to stand out, I love it, I love it. Other than that, the OST, it, it, it serves its purpose. The Japanese voice acting is absolute top notch. Major, major big names out there. Love it. All the voice actors did an incredible job. Can't say that with the English version. The English version voice actors, man, those are really bad, like... I immediately had to switch to Japanese because it was wow. The English voice acting was really bad. Alrighty. So with that out of the way, appearance as well to the game, it looks amazing on the Switch. I, I just look at this. I mean, it's no like Call of Duty or something else, but this game looks great on the Switch. I have no qualms about it. I mean, this looks just way... This is like... Night and day between Pokemon Violet and Scarlet compared to this. It looks great. I love it. Um, character appearances. Realistically speaking, um, not many people like the character designs in the game because they look too VTuber-ish like. And I can get that. But it makes a lot of the characters, honestly, in this game, more unique and likable. It feels like no one is like... They are misses. But that's more of a personal opinion than it is anything else. Ultimately, how a character is designed or how they look and all that and the vibe they feel is subjective to everyone. But I feel like with this, these designs in this game specifically, it, they all just have their own role to play. And I like it way more than some of the older, older games where some of the characters are just like, they're just throw away a little bit more so than anything else. So, yeah. Um... I, 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 once again, I personally like them. Alright, so, with that out of the way, um, storytelling. I think it's a pretty simple, simple story. There is a couple of twists at the end that I didn't 100% guarantee guess that correctly. But, everything pretty much fell in line to what I thought would, would happen, and I predicted pretty much around 90% of what actually happened in the game. Does it mean it's bad? No, I, 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 th I actually like it. I think the story was decent. It's nothing to write home about for sure, but it suffices to say. Now, the big one, gameplay. This is where a lot of my qualms come in to effect. So let's talk about the good first. It's a Fire Emblem game and it's core, it's hard and core. It takes a lot of what a lot of the newer series does. Newer series does well, like no breakable weapons and all of that actually really fun playing the game and it takes a lot of uh, it allows for a lot more custom customization on your characters with with weapon engraving 
enhancements, skill mix matching between the rings. The rings are themselves, the engaging rings are super fun. A new, a new twist to the gameplay. And no longer is the game limited to your class. It feels like your abilities are limited to, to you're your grinding for SP through the rings instead. So it feels like you can kind of sort of detach your characters away from the whole class mechanic now in the game. But they still do play a major part because of if you want to do experience growth and skill growth and all of that. I feel at the core of the game, a lot of the a lot of the core gameplay is there, and that's why it's so fun. Also, the maps in this game are challenging and fun. I really, really like a lot of the map. They even brought classic map classical map designs back, and they're really, really fun. They're definitely hard. Maps all have certain mechanics or certain placements that make them different. So it's not like your basic fog of war anymore. So it, it, I really, really like that. And the biggest change to this game, what made it really like, I would 100% recommend always playing on hard, is the ability for bosses to die and get revived in the same turn. It makes them feel more threatening. It makes you feel more tactical and how you want to take on certain enemies, engage and bait out. Because a lot of the bosses in this game don't actually hold their position. They will actively come after you, which is a nice change for once. Instead of the boss holding essentially their their throne spot, which has like plus 30 dodge and healing, so it's really annoying, and they come after you, so it feels like you, you're not safe all of the time. So you actually have to tactically take care of units and fight them at the same time. Also understanding that they also have a free revive. Now, I guess, comes the hindrances a little bit, the bad in the game. Ultimately, I have nothing wrong with the core gameplay of it, other than than the follow mechanic, which is, I think, a little bit overtuned, especially for both you and the enemy. Because you certain characters can, have a, can do a follow-up assist attack with you, and I feel like having those based off of an 80% and set damage really shouldn't be there. Because you can you can get like up to like four or five, six people in on an assist. And that's guaranteed damage. Like it's guaranteed like two to six damage per hit at 80%. So regardless if you have a zero hit percent hit chance, if you if you're an assist, you get 80%. Which I feel is way, way, way too overtuned. Also, core mechanic wise, skirmishers and tempest trials. I feel like skirmishers should give a little bit more than they do because they, they really don't give you that much in this game, exp and money wise. And tempest trials feels. I understand the need for an online game mode or something like that. It just feels sort of out of place in the need to get um certain bane skills and weapon increases for your rings. I, I really wish that was more baked into the game because it feels like tempest trials is definitely a side note to the game for an online play and i really don't think we sh it, it's nice to have it there but it's really not necessary and another big issue with the game it feels like they don't give you enough money in this game it feels like there's no way to get money in this game at all unless you turn on the online features and get random items off the ground and sell them but yeah um other than that like those are my biggest qualms with the actual gameplay the biggest issue comes in this, the Somnio. I feel everyone can say this about Three Houses. They hated the monastery area. It was cool the first couple of times, but after that, the monastery was literally a chore and you just want to get through the monastery as fast as possible. It's the exact same feeling with the Somnio. And you know, you can have all the mini games you want just to prove you can do it. But at a certain point, it's really, really boring. It's really, really not necessary. Honestly, you don't even need 99% of this, like 90% of this map. You just maybe need this courtyard and have everything focused into the courtyard. So it's an easier hub experience. Instead of having to go all over this place and needing a fast travel button to get anywhere you need to go. It feels so over really ridiculous. Also having the horse manure item as a, as a joke item that literally does nothing. Please stop. You're just wasting players' time. Stuff like the over the overly long exercises just for plus two to plus three in a stat is just way, 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 way too long to do. It, it, the exercising is super boring. The mini games are 
they give you items, so if you want to play ultimate, you can do them, but it's just an annoyance to do. Having to cook is, is, is a fast thing to do, but putting it through a load screen really, really sucks. Also, the ring room and the arena are in different areas of the map for some odd reason, and it just creates a load time menu that that feels so unjustified right now when the whole Somnium should be one area. I, I, I just... It just feels like they didn't think it through a little bit. And I feel like this is this this part appeals to a larger audience. Having this hub world and all that. And all, all these places to go. Maybe let's tone it. I really wish they would tone it back a little bit. Make it more of a core experience. And work on that gameplay. Because the gameplay, the maps, the whole feeling of the game feels good. It's just a lot of the minigames are long, unwanted, like there's unskippable things, unnecessary Q QTEs for them, for for almost no reason, 99% of the time. I, I, I just, it, it, it bugs me about the Somnio. Like, the Somnio is such a cool idea. I really like it. It's just, it needs to be executed way better. It, 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 there, there's way better ways of doing this than the way they're doing it right now. But ultimately, those are my biggest gripes about the game. But it still doesn't mean I don't enjoy playing the game. I think this is leagues ahead of three houses. This is easily leagues ahead of three houses. So, would I say suggest to buy this? If this was your first Fire Emblem game, I wouldn't be mad. This is a really good game. And I really would suggest it to players out there. I that, That's why I, I'm surprised to say like I'm really enjoying this game. But yeah, those are my opinions and thoughts. Till the next one. Peace out.